Welcome to Actual Skill Modeling. This is part six of FX's Vickers Wellington GR Mark 8. Scale is 172. So, um, carrying on the build with this part, um, in this part, this is where you'll see everything falling apart as such, where I discovered that I've made some fundamental errors in the build. So, let's jump on with this and see how well I get on. So I'm leaving off, uh, starting off where I left off um, and building the um, propellers up. These are uh, very simple uh, to to build up. The, the, the inner compartment uh, just gets cemented into place um, like so. It's a delicate but it's um, fairly easy to do. But I shall leave that to dry until um, I can carry on with the next part. So while I'm waiting that to dry, I'm just going to be putting on the exhaust for this. They're, they're easy enough to place on. They just go on the edge of the engines. Actually, it's a good idea to do this before you put the props on anyway. And then I'm fitting the aerials or probes, whatever they, they are on the underside of the wing. There, there's uh, some more parts that they go on. I'm not sure what they're for, to tell you the truth. But there's not that many of them to go on anyway. In, in fact, um, at this stage of the build, it was, I thought, I think it's better if I left this overnight to let everything dry before carrying on. But before that, there's just a, the access ladder I'm just placing in. And that, that'll, I'm going to call that a night before uh, carrying on in the morning. So now I'm just going to finish off the um, props. And so I'm putting in the drive shaft pin now. And then the um, actual props themselves will just fit on. There's a little bit of cement just goes on the tip of this once they're in place if you want them free moving and then the um, spinner cap thing goes on at the end. Um, so the, the props themselves are fairly easy to build up. So next is to put the um, aerials on. Now unbeknown to me as I was doing this I had a bit of glue on my thumb and um, look where I'm gripping the plane right on the canopy, uh, the gun turret. And I thought I got away with putting in the wrong turrets on, but I, I completely um, smudged glue all over the uh, front turret, completely ruined it. There's no way of getting out of it. So I had to uh, pull it all out. And this is when I realised that I actually had put on the wrong um, part anyway. So I'm going to have to cut this nose con, uh, cone off. And um, I'm using that, just using my uh, little Japanese uh, wood saw here. I, I could use my Dremel, but um, I don't want a chance of melting the plastic. And I, I want a finer control. This is quite difficult to do. As you can see, the paint model's shaking about everywhere. Um, but I had to bite the bullet and really just do it and try. Now, because I cut it off, I lost quite a bit of the fuselage um, because it was so brittle, because uh, of my cutouts, it just fell away. However, the new, the new nose piece does fit okay. I will need a little bit of filler to go into that. Before I get on though, I'm just going to be painting uh, the, the actual uh, cone itself and I'm using Revel Aquacolor 04 Gloss White for this. So I'll just follow the lines free handed once more. And once it was dry, it's time to fit it. Um, this was a delicate operation. I should also point out as well that the um, certain aspects of the side of the plane that um, had the cut off uh, fuselage on it, I, um, I cut a little bit more out. I married it up more to the contours of the wing. Um, I, I done that off camera. Um, I wasn't at this point. I wasn't even sure whether I was going to keep the model or not, or, or just throw it in the bin because I made such a mess of it. But in the end, I've kept it to sh and kept the videos to sh to show you doing me doing it. And the truth is, I'm not sure whether I pulled this back from the brink or not. As I said, I was ready to throw it in the bin because I made such an error while building it. There is a bit of a gap here, but I'm just pointing out. But I'm going to be filling that in with uh, some crystal clear. Now crystal clear dries clear like it says on the bottle. I'll just point out a little bit more there that you can see it. 
but you can paint over it so it acts as a very thin filler as well there's crystal clear there um, it's a cheap way of doing it but um, it's not the best way but um, it's better than me trying to put uh, a proper filler on it then smudging that onto the canopy so uh, this to me is the best way to do it so I've just got a little bit on a cocktail stick and I'm just going to draw that cocktail stick down the seam and the liquid will fill up the gap. So it's dried now and I've repainted it white. You can see it looks a little bit better. Uh, it's time to place on the props and these just get pushed in to the engines. Well, when I say just, they, they obviously need cemented into place as well. Be careful, you're not going to put any cement on the moving parts if you do want these free moving. So because I've moved a, a bit more of the um, fuselage, you can see there, and having to touch up the paint through um, scrape, scrape marks that I've made with my knife and, and file trying to get it down. It wasn't a, a great piece, a disaster as such, to repaint. It was just awkward. But once that was done, it was time to varnish, and I'm using the pledge player. Now, I did think about uh, weathering this model, but I've decided not to um, because, um, to be honest with you, I, I've had enough of it. Um, through my own fault, um, nothing to do with the kit, but I didn't want to actually spend any more time on it. So I'm just going through the motions now of um, applying the uh, varnish before I do the decals. Even at this stage, I wasn't convinced I was going to be keeping the, the model anyway. So um, I wasn't going to put in more resources to it. And truth be told, the, the, the paintwork itself is not as, as good as I normally do it. Um, I think I could have got it a lot more even and um, sharper. Nevertheless, it's time to put on the decals. And because I've only got one main fuselage to put on, there, there wasn't that many to put on the first place, even less now that I've only got one side to place them on. And this is where I actually end this video. So this part's quite short, but um, I want to show you what what I've done wrong and uh, how I went to be, uh, go around and fixing it. As I say, it, it, this build is certainly not my best, not my worst to be fair, but um, definitely not my best. I was disappointed in myself really, uh, but that's just the nature of these things. You can't do them 100% correctly all the time. Well, look at this, I'm even having problems with the decals. It's nothing to do with the decals. It's just me. It's just one of these builds where I can't get anything right. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you subscribe to the channel even after this debacle? And um, if you do, hit that notification bell. If you do, you'll be kept up to date with all my future builds as well, uh, as well as this one, of course. Hit that like button, please leave a comment, and of course you can share the video and have a good bloody laugh at this one. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.